Marcel Hopkins is an international curve model, life coach, inspirational speaker, TV presenter and body positive activist. She was chosen as a top 12 Miss South Africa finalist in 2016 after losing 14 kgs in four months to enter the pageant. Four years later, she embraces her natural body shape and inspires women all over the world to love and accept their bodies. Welcome to The Loft, Marcel. Thank you. Now, you're an international curve model who was living and working in one of the best cities in the world, New York City, which has unfortunately become an epicenter of COVID-19 in America. So talk us through moving to the city initially and seeing a change right before your eyes. So I left South Africa in early February. I had to wait to shoot a pilot for a TV show before I could leave. And then I was going to stay in the city for two months. It's very short. So with modeling, it's actually ideal to stay in a city for at least three months, but I only had two months, and then I had to come back to shoot again in South Africa. And then my trip was obviously cut short with a whole month, and I was quite proactive by deciding that I'm, I'm going to leave the city and come back to South Africa. Because I have so many work projects in Cape Town, I was scared that I get stuck in the city, and I thought New York was going to go into lockdown first before South Africa. So I left New York on 14 March, which was just in time before it, it became tricky with international travels. I remember on the Sunday I arrived back, Cyril announced the first closing of borders for South Africa. So I was, I think another week would have been fine, but then I was back in time and it wasn't stressful or too expensive to come back. You had to come back to SA due to COVID-19. So you've been in isolation way before the rest of SA. How has lockdown been treating you and what have you been getting up to? It's been a long time. So for me, it's already two and a half months. And the first two weeks were really hard because the rest of South Africa was still out and about and they were not in lockdown and I was isolated at home. The responsible thing to do is to self-isolate. Mm -hmm. So it was very hard. And then I think when the, the official lockdown for South Africa was announced, I kind of realized, well, now it's mine over matter. So you can decide to be depressed about it and be sad every day, which is also fine. I think it's, it's fine to have your down moments. Mm -hmm but I realized I'm going to have to have a positive mindset to make the best out of this. So I had my exercise in the morning. And then because I'm so passionate about mental health and being a life coach, having my honors in psychology, I decided to give away 40 pro, pro bono hours of life coaching to people. Yeah, it was a first come first serve um, kind of system and it was wonderful. So I was coaching every day during this lockdown. I only, I only took Sundays off. And it was wonderful. It was for me to add value and have purpose during this time. Mm -hmm. And then obviously encouraging and uplifting, especially women during this time. Mm -hmm. Because what I'm passionate about is obviously self-love and body positivity. And that's something that a lot of women really struggle with through this lockdown time. This pro bono free 40 hours that you've given to women and just people in general in need. How has it been like for them and what's the reception been like? The positive feedback that I've gotten was honestly overwhelming. All of us have our own challenges and struggles during this time. And just somebody listening to you and not focusing on their own problems and, oh, but they've got it way harder. And I think it was also just okay to validate the challenges that you're going through because often women feel guilty for just voicing the fact that they're struggling with all of the housework and balancing husband and kids. And they feel guilty because there's other people that's going through way harder things. But it's okay. We are allowed to voice it. We are all grateful. We all sit in gratitude. But it doesn't mean that we're not struggling with things. Mm -hmm. And just what I'm really passionate about is awareness. Just being aware of toxic thoughts or limiting beliefs that you have about yourself and how you can break through that. And also grow your emotional intelligence. Because if you understand yourself better, you are ultimately empowered to take on life. Mm. And, and, and know where your strengths and your weaknesses lie. So that's what I'm really passionate about. And then also helping people to think creatively. Especially women that have their own businesses or that work for themselves, freelancers. How to be creative during this time. To think of other options of how how to grow and expand their businesses. How can we practically implement what you teach us on a daily basis in our day-to-day -day lives? I think a big uh, dark place during this time was social media because obviously we have a lot of time and we're on our phones all the time because we also want to be informed. But that leads to us 
spending a lot of hours on social media, which can lead to a lot of women not feeling good about themselves. Because a lot of them told me, well, I'm not doing lockdown as good as someone else is doing. You know, like she looks like she's got it all together. She's exercising. So unfortunately, we're moving to a space of comparison. Mm -hmm. So just first of all, managing that. And then also all of the other places where you feed your mind from. So the television you watch, the books you read, the people you voice or video call with, are those positive, Mm -hmm. positive thoughts and people that you feed your mind with? Or is it negative? Because then you must be careful and, and limit the time you, for example, spend on the phone with someone that's constantly complaining and also making you feel negative. Also, being aware of thoughts. I think often a negative thought comes up for us and that's fine. But instead of allowing it to run away with you, so waking up today and going, I'm not feeling good about myself. Instead of going to very dark places very quickly in terms of, not good enough, my body's not good enough, I'm not a good wife, I'm not a good mother, it can really have a snowball effect. Instead of allowing that to bring it back to going, okay, I'm not feeling good today, how can I practice self-love and self-care from from where I am today? Always, always having the awareness of, of... of operating from a place of self-love and not self-critique. Mm. Because as women, we are very good with critiquing ourselves. And it's it doesn't serve you. It's not healthy. It doesn't help you. I always say if negative self-talk helped us to be successful, most women would be highly successful. But it doesn't help us. It literally just drains our energy and it breaks away um, our self-image. Mm. Slowly but but surely we, we actually deteriorate our own self-image and that's our responsibility to step in and choose positive and, and self-loving thoughts about ourselves. Mm. Thank you for that. Thank you so much, Marcel Hopkins, not only for reminding us to take care of ourselves, but also step outside of yourself and give to those in need because you never know whose day you might brighten up. Thank you so much for being the silver lining in the storm and chaos we find ourselves in. It's that positivity and love we like to celebrate here on Afternoon Express. Thank you. Again, on social media, I have to encourage everybody to keep engaging with us. Let's find support within each other and encouragement.